infamous witch here if you are new here please make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you get notified every time i post a new video today is a pick a card reading let me describe you when you're mad that way you can reflect and see yourself and it's also just entertaining like please can nobody we all think we're invincible when we're mad no lie we really do um i know i definitely have um but anyways let's see how you really are when you're mad not how you see it not how others see it but how it really is we have three piles laid out by the way if you want to book a personal reading with me or donate all down in the description box below if you want to follow me on any other social media also down below can you believe that i freaking came on here after making a collective reading and i lost like i don't know like 90 followers i don't know if that's the right but i lost a lot of followers and i'm pretty upset about it but it's like you know what they weren't my true soul tribe they don't like me for me they only like me when i post certain videos or act a certain way that's not somebody i want on my channel anyway so i'm gonna see this as a huge clearing out before the right ones come in and i'm surrounded by followers okay so fuck it clear out all that bad energy we don't want no weird people on here anyways and by weird i mean mean or fake okay anyways so this will be pile one which is my evil eye necklace which i use as a pendulum as well pile two is this blue lighter where'd it go where did it go oh no pile three are these raw cones so choose which pile or piles you're most drawn to and check the description box below to skip to your pile or the comments. I'm not sure which one I'm going to put them under yet. So pile one, if you chose pile one, let's check and see how do you act when you're mad? What do you like? Not just from your point of view, but like from the universe's point of view. What is that side of them like? I feel like you really, it takes you a while to get angry, like it's for someone to push your buttons. Um, but it's like, people see a completely different side of you. Like with this change card here and this new beginning, they're like, wow, this is a new side to you. I've never seen this before. You definitely could be the type that cries when, you're, when you are mad. Like I'm seeing somebody beat somebody up, but they're crying for beating the person up. So that could definitely be you guys, okay? Um, I'm also hearing that when you're mad, you definitely speak the truth you hurt some feelings with your words um and then you cut them off you you definitely try to walk away from people when you're mad because you do not want to escalate the situation how does pile one act when they are mad i'm hearing that like you t you could turn your back at times you definitely could be petty but you try to not bring that side out of you okay like you really don't want to have to be petty like you could observe the person and really figure out okay this person that pissed me off what are they like and like you could really hit them where it hurts because like you're so observative is that the word you observe someone so much to where you know their weak point so when you're mad like but like, that's why you got corn on your feet or something like that you know what i'm saying something that that, that bothers them but it could be petty at the same time yeah you definitely when you're mad hurt people with your words because this is communication so i feel like you really aren't the type to fight if you were to fight you would be crying um that you have to beat the other person up mostly you you are one of those people that speak with your words and you try not to go there from what i'm seeing you would rather walk away from what i'm seeing you don't want to have to go there because you feel like it's childish it's not worth your time um and you really most of the time are the one trying to calm the situation down when things do escalate or you're trying to see the other person's perspective but if it really really does get out of hand you'll hurt feelings with your words and you will smack a bitch from what i'm hearing okay yeah i'm also hearing like you could do sneaky things behind the scenes like wait until they forget about it and then hit them where it hurts or like you could do little sneaky things like behind the scenes like, you're one of those people, I feel like that if you don't have to do something, you won't. Like, you could have other people that will do it for you. Like, because people really fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, your lover, 
will do it for you. Your best friend will do this for you because they feel like you're so sweet. I'm also hearing like some of you like if a lover makes you mad, you could sleep with their best friend or something. That is not for everyone. That's only for very few of you. Um, or like you could sleep with someone that, you know, to make them mad in general. That's not for everyone though, okay? Um, I'm also hearing like, when you guys are mad, you could have anxiety attacks, I'm hearing at times. Like things just go so quickly and like you definitely could be the type to tackle someone even that's like three times your weight if you really had to is what I'm hearing. Like some of you could be petite or if you're not petite, it just like you could take on three times your weight is what I'm hearing. You guys are very strong. Look, strength card just came out after that. Um, you could be very emotional, but yet you're strong. You know what I'm saying? Um, we also have, yeah, like I said, you could really hit them where it hurts. Like, if somebody really did hurt you, you could um, make them lose their job, make them lose their relationship or their friendship. Because some of you are also witches or into magic. And, like, what you say goes. Like, you know? It's like, once you know someone's not for you and you know you need to get them out of your life, some of you might do some do spells to make someone stay away from you or some of you are very strong like um in the spirit realm you know what i'm saying so a lot of your anger could work there but you do have an anger though but i feel like for most of the time you try to keep it calm and collected like in your chair you don't want to have to move out of your chair for nobody but if you do have to if you do have to get up and stop looking cute best believe somebody gonna be put to sleep like that's what i'm hearing yes there's definitely two sides to you and people don't expect it because you guys are so sweet for most of you you know what i'm saying so that's what i got for you 8 11 on the clock and look that angel number up thank you so much for joining me and see you next time pile two if you chose this blue lighter let's go ahead and see what do you like pile two when you're mad what is pile two like when they are mad how do they act? How does Pile 2 act when Pile 2 is mad? I'm hearing Rager. So you definitely could have a temper for sure. Like I'm getting a vision of a bull busting through walls and like tearing the whole house up. That's what I'm seeing. So you guys could definitely be aggressive, punch holes in the wall, throw shit around, all that type of stuff. However, a lot of you, you're trying to change. That's the old you. That's not you now. Okay um some some of you you get mad when you don't get your way or things don't go your way not for all of you but i kind of get like this energy like what i say goes you know like boss energy like i run shit energy um i do see that you really try to bury your emotions when you're mad and most of the time try to not show it you like bury it deep try to release it in certain ways for some of you like some of you you pull it out i've heard of that tactic or you write it out some of you you um you write a song you work out when you're mad okay but if you were to not work out when you were mad best believe that whole house would be torn up is what i'm hearing because y'all are like some rams some bulls mm. Mm -mm. yeah people gotta walk away from you because you are a fiery energy i feel like people would want to walk away from you people would not want to make you mad for the most part you're very nurturing with queen of wands here some of you you might have kids um but you're nurturing so you i feel like you as well like you really don't want to bring that side out you'd rather use your anger to like manifest or use your anger for profit because that's a lot of energy there for most of you um but it's like you would have a very intellectual conversation with someone like using all these big words but cussing them out like what is a good example i'm thinking of a i'm gonna find a scene and put try to put it in here but it's like you would say something so smart with a lot of words to where it, the person wouldn't even understand what you're saying like they're lost they lost they can't even understand your intelligence and they're like can't even argue with you because they don't even know what the hell you're saying it's like boom shots fired that's what i'm hearing okay some of you you're rappers and i'm hearing like a freestyle of someone i'm thinking of that remy ma and Nicki minaj just seen 11 11 
how Remy Ma went on that tape. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? You know what I'm saying? With that shit, how she made that whole verse. Some of y'all might do that or you would be good at doing that with your anger. I keep hearing beast, tame the beast. So a lot of you, you've really been working on your anger or you've done that over the years because you've grown up, you know, but I feel like you guys do have a quick temper. So when you do have that quick temper, you're like, all right, get away from me or people just know to get away from you. Okay. Or you got to go work out. You got to write a song. You got to do something to try to tame that because there's a lot of fiery, um, quick tempered energy that I'm feeling hothead is also what I'm hearing yeah look at this devil card here all right but what's next to the devil card you guys are very giving what pisses you off is when people take advantage of your kindness what also pisses you off is when someone does something for you and now they're trying to make you feel like you owe them that is also a pet peeve of yours and that shit will piss you off and you don't care you'll break off a friendship it don't matter if you're friends within five six seven eight nine ten years don't try me i feel like you guys will move away from people like completely like you'll change your whole number if you have to and block this person out in order for your peace some of you you might be um popular on social media or a lot of people watch you on social media or they watch your lover or a friend of yours for some reason i don't know why this could be a mother that does this why is this even coming up oh we had two come out so you know what this is telling me you guys will leave someone and like it'll be cold like i'm thinking of a capricorn right now you don't have to be capricorns but i'm thinking of how like capricorns are cold like icy when you're mad like people gonna feel that ice burn because you'll seem like you don't care you'll just seem so cold like you never cared like that flip will completely change because you're so giving and you'll go to not giving a fuck and people will be like damn not even no halfway point like just that much and it's like yeah you'll stop giving to people you will and you'll stop that nurturing energy everything that they thought and seen you do like that giving energy you'll stop giving to them completely they will never get another dime out of you another anything out of you another rod another favor nothing cut off you guys could be pretty sensitive but it's like but you know how to turn that switch off even and even if you are like you could go from loving someone to hating them real quick from what i'm hearing but like you try to not go there you would rather not go there you know what i'm saying it's still love but it's like love at a distance possibly but you're cold about it these people think you don't give a fuck again these people can't get in your bubble you're in your own bubble you're in your own lane and it's like when you're mad they want to watch you because you prosper after you're mad it's like a glow up that you go through after you're mad i don't know what this is when you're mad you could be uh you could use your ego sometimes or um you could be very fiery i'm definitely i'm still getting that like i'm getting a vision of someone slapping the other person and that slap burning so hard um again like i just feel like you guys are the actual ram that's on this car like you know And it's like, you will keep people tied. Like, bitch, I didn't forget you owe me that $20. Like, you remember that shit. You, you remember shit. That's the thing about you. And you won't act mad about it. But if that person that owes you $20, you see them again, you be like, I ain't forget. Like, you think I'm going to be cool with you again? You ain't getting no, I don't give a fuck. You don't, I'm not giving you no dollar. No, you can't have a ride. You still owe me $20. Bitch, bye. You thought... You're not getting one over on me. Like, people love to try to take advantage of you, but it don't work. Like, that's the thing. They really think that they can get one over, but you end up catching on because you're too smart. And you got a fast temper. I feel like people are scared of that. They don't see the fast temper at first, but then when they start to see that temper, they're like, oh, let me back up. Okay, because I don't want to get hit with that sassiness, that temper. 
that's what i got for you pal too let me know how this resonates like comment subscribe share this with a friend if you want to book a personal or donate all down in the description box below i appreciate all of you who have stayed and actually support me and appreciate me and fuck the fake ones that don't you just want to be on here for a free reading you don't even care about me as a person or want to bitch i'm more than a tarot reader pile number three okay so pile number three what do you like when you're mad i am hearing i don't get mad i get even i don't get mad i get glad i'm hearing that i don't know why so some of you could definitely take revenge when you're mad or um you like to play the role of karma when you're mad which nothing wrong with that okay everyone has their own purpose here and their own beliefs but i'm not here to judge whoa like what do you do you leave people like this you you really cut tongue you make people eat their words from what i'm hearing anything somebody says about you or does to you reversed i don't know what it is it goes back to them tables always turn with you mm -mm. tables always turn like this has made me think of scorpios for some reason um i'm thinking of that one bon queen queen um part too where she's like but don't get crazy okay so mm. i get the feeling that sometimes you guys don't think when you're mad you just act for some of you some of you could black out when you're mad. Like, literally, like, you black out, something else takes over, you don't even remember what happened, you know? Um, I feel like, and when, during that time when you black out, and you don't know what's going on, you definitely hurt some feelings. You definitely could have, um, some of you, like, I'm getting, like, with him on this horse wrecking i'm thinking like some of you could wreck cars like um or let your anxiety control you to where you just act like you act off of emotions quickly without really thinking sometimes and then you look at it later and be like damn i was being toxic what does power three act like when they're mad thank you okay knight of wands so yeah i'm getting reckless energy if you're mad, you could be quite reckless, like, um, and, like, blow shit up or wreck a car. Like, do something to, that makes you win at that moment, but then later on, you could sometimes end up having to pay consequences, like, go to jail or, I don't know, a witness was watching, you know what I'm saying? Um, others of you, okay, you, if somebody makes you mad or you get mad, like I said, you gonna get even for some of you, and you're gonna look and wait for your moment to bite like you're gonna play chess right you're gonna play these moves right um some of you when you're mad you get in your bag you use that anger to get in your bag best revenge is my paper i'm hearing that by beyonce now um so some of you 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 transmute this energy it could have been that in the past you like to get revenge but now you don't and now you would rather transmute that energy so fit it how it fits for you but i am hearing that that's always stay gracious best revenge is your paper so some of you you might have played the role of karma in the past and you're like mm, that's take too much of my energy i'd rather be focused on my money and just let it come to them when it comes to them that could be the energy now but in the past you definitely could have gotten even um i'm hearing like you could even be the type to put a baseball bat on a motherfucker if you have to if you really have to but not if you don't have to you you'd rather be calm and collected I feel like for the most part um how does my power threes act when they are mad wow so we got the double car i'm hearing cold shoulder you definitely could give people the cold shoulder when you're mad um it definitely could take a while for you to heal and like not be mad you could you could sit on it for a little bit like some people they're mad and then they get over it just as quick for you, I feel like it might take you a while. It takes you a while to heal. Um, you guys could be quite sensitive. 
But I'm hearing in the end, you always do end up winning some sort of battle. You could take someone's lover. <laughs> For some of you, you would do it secretively. A list of you, like, you just work, you just, you're, when you get mad, you just use it to transmute it and use it to your advantage and success. I'm also hearing now, kill them with kindness. I feel like you guys definitely have a past, but now you'd rather, like, kill them with kindness. Broken heart here. You definitely could break hearts when you're mad, like, because you are karma for some of you. You are karma. You don't want to play the rule of karma unless you know you got to step in. Because some things you know, like, that's not worth my time and energy. I'll be wasting too much time. But other times, you know, like, all right, I have to step in because there, this is not right. And this is not going to go past me. Like, I'm, that's the kind of energy I'm getting with this pile. I'm getting that you, you would definitely fuck somebody up. You could even kill somebody when you're mad, especially if you do black out or something. Or if alcohol's involved or, like, family's involved. Because you guys could really care about your family or some of your friends, you know? Like, you could definitely be the type that... At first, you might try to balance it out. You might try to go to sleep when you're mad. Try to sleep on it. But, nah, you you going to have to say your piece. You're going to have to get into an argument and say your piece. You're you going to let what you got to say be heard is what I'm getting. Like, if somebody block you, you going to email them. You going to hear what I got to say. That's what I'm picking up on. <laughs> but you definitely break hearts. And it takes other people a while to heal from what you say, too, from what I'm getting. That's what I got for you guys. Let me know how this resonates. Like, comment, subscribe, share this with a friend. Sorry, I look ratchet. I was just at the gym. Wow, that rhymed. Okay. And fuck those people that unsubscribe from my channel because you guys weren't meant to be here anyways. Okay? So the one that is truly here... Thank you guys for supporting me and loving me for me and sticking by me while I learned who I am as a creator, you know? Thank you. Love you. Bye.